Why don't Chabad Hasidim wear tzitzis on top of their shirts? So the idea of where and how to wear tzitzis is something which starts from halacha, from Shulchan Aruch. There's in fact a very interesting sikha from the Rebbe in the uh, Kutisichas, it's Parshas Shlach. In, uh, I think, Chilik Lamit Ches, I think it is, where the Rebbe explains also all the different shit, as the different opinions. But I'll say a little bit in short, in a nutshell, what the different ideas of wearing tzitzis. There's two tzitzis, there's two types of tzitzis. There's the talus cotton and the talus gadol. The Arizal writes, and it's brought down in Halacha, that the talus gadol has to be the talus gadol has to be on top of all of one's clothes. And the talus cotton should be lamata under one's, clo- under one's clothes, under one's garments. The reason, according to Kabbalah, for this is because a talus cotton is an in pnimi, it's an internal thing, and therefore it has to be inside, it has to be worn inside under one's garments. Now, there's also a halacha that says, that a talis cotton, a talis, it says in the Torah, or Isa Moise, one must see it. And as a result, remember all the mitzvahs of the Abishter. So therefore, the talis has to be worn in a way that one can see it. Now, with regarding that, there's many different minakatsa, um, lakatsa, from one extreme to another, many different ways of how one would wear the talis cotton. There are some chsidim, many, Many others also, not only Chassidim, and it's been customary by Jews many times in the past. In fact, the Friedrich Rebbe, and there were many Chassidic Chabad who did it as well back in Russia, and the Friedrich Rebbe, when he came to America, did it for a certain amount of time, and that's to wear the talus cotton on top of one's shirt. Why? Because even though it says talus cotton should be under your clothes, but it's under your jacket, unlike the talus gadol, which is on top of the jacket, and in fact, one would also wear a vest, which by wearing the vest, he also therefore has something, some type of garment on top of the talus cotton. So there's two things. Number one is that when he's wearing, when he goes outside and he's wearing a jacket, he puts on a jacket, the jacket is on top of the talus cotton. So with that way, it's, it's, it's under his garments. And the other thing is that some people will even be more makbid to dafka wear some type of garment on top of the talus cotton, like a vest and chayet so that he's wearing something on top of his talus cotton. Um, that's one way of doing things, which even according to Nigla, in halacha, even though, like I mentioned, the arizal is brought down in halacha, but according to halacha, this would work better, so you're still catching the idea of the Arizal, but you're nevertheless um, wearing it on top of your garments. According to Kabbalah Mamish, and Sfardim do it like that, they'll even tuck in the tzitzis, the strings of the tzitzis, into their pants as well. Because of this idea of it being an Indian Pnimi, so therefore they'll even stick in their tzitzis. Which is why it's interesting that even though the Beis Yosef says that one's tzitzis should be sticking out of their pants, that you should be able to see it because of Urisa Moisai. But nevertheless, many Sfardim will still tuck in their tzitzis because of the Arizal, that it should be tucked in. Um, what Chabad does, because of according to Kabbalah, is that we'll wear the tzitzis, also according to Kabbalah in general, the tzitzis, the talus cotton, should be in between two garments, which means on top of one garment and under another garment. So therefore it's on top of the undershirt and undershirt, that's why many people would be makpid dafki, you should wear an undershirt under your tzitzis. So this way, according to Kabbalah, it's in between the two garments, it's always there in between the two garments. So that's the reason why Chabad generally will wear the tzitzis. Like I said, in Chabad also is different times, the works in them that were on top of the garments, there were different times, even the Friday Kerebbe, there were different times. But in general, Chabad will wear the tzitzis under our shirt, on top of an undershirt, in order because of the sinin darizal. But nevertheless, we will have, in fact, the Rebbe even goes on to say that that's also perhaps the reason why we don't only wear it under our shirt, but we'll even stick the garment, the begged of the talus cotton, into our pants so that it's totally an inyan pnimi. 
But the strings of the talis, the Rebbe says, unless it's someone who's on a very high level, who's able to do this in according to Kabbalah, and he doesn't need the remembrance of the mitzvah of tzitzis. Most of us are not on that level. We do need to have the Zchartem Moiseh, the Rise Moiseh, the Zchartem is called Mitzvah Hashem. They're being able to see the strings so we should remember the mitzvahs, and therefore for most of us, the strings of the tzitzis should be sticking out, but the Beged should be completely under the garments.